Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Everybody get up and sing it with me. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Good job. Thank you for getting up. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back. It's been a hoppity hoppity frog week, hasn't it? Somebody might think it would be a bunny week, but more bunny activities are coming soon. But this week we've been talking about frogs, haven't we? We've been talking about life cycles. Living things grow and change, and they, they go in a cycle. Life is wonderful, isn't it? And we're so happy to be alive and healthy and well. Springtime is a time of new life. And we say, thank you, Jesus, for dying for us and going to heaven to show us the way. Someday we'll be there too. We know that Jesus loves us. So we're celebrating love this week too. We're still talking about Easter and love and new life. So here we are back. Let's look at our calendar. The season. I've got all kinds of things all over the floor for activities for this week. So I have to watch where I'm stepping. Let's start at the calendar. Calendars, what are they for? They mark special days and somebody has a special day today. Oh my goodness. We will have to stop a minute and get the birthday bear. Someone's birthday. Let's look at the calendar and find out what special day is today. The season is spring. The month is April, very good. January, February, March, and April. April showers. We expect rain in April. That helps living things grow and change. The year is 2020. Let's see how many days we've had in April. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them away, we need more fingers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And look, on the 17th day of April, the calendar marks birthday. It's Wheezy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Wheezy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wheezy. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day today and have special things to do all day with your family. It is a special year to be four. We'll go get the birthday bear and you can celebrate with him. And when I send out my next packet, I will send home a birthday crown with you. You can have another birthday day with your crown, your birthday crown from school. Let's see, 16, 17. So let's put 17, 110. We put in our tens place and seven more. April 17th, four years ago, Wheezy was born. Wow. Time flies, doesn't it, Mom and Dad? I bet you remember the day she was born, a cute little baby. Wheezy has grown and changed because she's alive. We grow and change and get bigger. When Wheezy was born, she didn't have any teeth, did you, Wheezy? And now you have teeth and you can talk and you can go to school and you can count and, oh my goodness, you know your letters, you can write. Think of all the things that you can do today, all of you because you're growing and changing. You're a living thing, you are alive. The 17th, let's see what day of the week it is. Is it a Sunday? No. Is today Monday? No. Tuesday? Wednesday? No. Thursday? Friday, right. Today's Friday, Wheezy's birthday. So let's move Wednesday back and we'll put our days up. Today is Friday, Francie Fish, F-R-I-D-A-Y day. Yay, Friday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Thursday, Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Saturday. Today is Friday, the end of the week. And then we're off for a few days and we come back next week. And today, this afternoon at three o'clock, a whole new packet of fun activities for you to do at home are going to be at school right outside our classroom playground door at door D. So at three o'clock, moms and dads can pick up your new packet of fun activities to do at home. I wonder if there'll be some froggy things in there. Hmm. Some of you have already been doing some things right now with frogs, I think, or very soon. So I hope you've been having fun with those things and more fun things are gonna be in your packet. Keep on working hard. I know you can do it and I'm proud of you for having school at home and for coming and joining Mr. Bode and I every day at school. The weather today is going to be a sunny day with some clouds too, but it should be a nice day and a nice weekend to go outside and run and play and exercise and be happy you're alive and well, okay? And stay well and keep washing your hands and doing all those things. We know someday soon, it's probably hard. You don't get to hug and see Mrs. Vo, and you don't get to hug and see even your grandmas and grandpas. So pray about it, and God will help us through this time. Let's see, every day we come to school, we add a counting stick. How many days of school have we had? 100, there's our 100 bundle. 20, two tens, and eight. 128. But every day we come, we add another counting stick. So let's put one more in. What comes after eight? Eight. Nine. It's not beeping, is it? Because, no, it's not quite ten. But boy, boys and girls, every day we've been getting closer. Let's look up here at our number chart. There's nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're right, one more and it will be a full 10 tray. So we need to come to school one more day and be sure your parents come with you so they can see who Zero the Hero is. The next time we come to school, it will be Zero the Hero Day. And moms and dads, maybe you can have a little Zero treat ready at home, like a little gummy lifesaver that's shaped like a Zero. Remember the time that Zero the Hero tricked us with something that was a licorice stick? It was a straight line, and we said, that's not a Zero. Oh, no, it was a gummy worm, wasn't it? We said, that's not a Zero, and we learned. Somebody said, Mrs. Vote, if you turn it, it will become a Zero. So we have to be careful with that Zero the Hero. He's tricky. But you can have your own Zero treat at home. Maybe you can find something in the cupboard. So. Tomorrow, the next time we come, it'll be Monday. We'll, Tuesday, let's see. I'm all mixed up in my days. The next time we come, it will be Monday. And it will be zero day. Zero the hero day. Okay. All right, now, so let's see. What do we have to do? Our weather graph. I sure wish you guys were here helping me in school. It's not all about Mrs. Vote at school, is it? You guys learn and help and play and share and do everything with me. So it's been really, really hard for Mr. Vote and I here all by ourselves. And it's cold at this school when no one's here. It's cold. Mr. Vote's got a hat on right now because he's cold. It hasn't warmed up in here very much, but I'm busy, so I stay warm. Well, let's get back. I'm I'm need to get back to work, don't we? All right, let's see. It's sunny, so we have to see. We're following a pattern, a pattern, a pattern. We're following a pattern. Can you tell me what it is? It's our weather graph. We love to do graphs, different kinds of graphs and things. And this, every day we talk about our weather. And it's still sunny, so Weather Bear, he can keep his glasses on. Purple, pink, blue, purple. Purple, pink, blue, purple. All right. Sunny's trying to catch up. But I keep expecting rainy days. And we've got some fun rain songs and mud songs. Next week, we're going to write our own mud song. And we're going to do the, the big mud song. If you remember from last year in school, we love that mud song. Mud, mud, I love mud. 
Remember that song? We'll do that next week. Lots of fun things. We're not going to forget those things. We're going to still do them, even though you can't come here to the room. We can still do those silly things. All right. And if you're thinking of things at home that you wish we could still do, you can send me a note about it or have your mom and dad send me a little text and say, Wheezy wants to, and we'll do that song or whatever it is. So if you're missing something that we usually do, you can let me know and we'll do it at school. Okay, are we ready? Oh, come on over here. Look, at this is really cool today. It's been a week of frogs, hasn't it? We know frogs hatch from eggs, and they grow and change and become an adult, just like birds hatch from eggs. Well, look at this chart about frogs. Since this is the last day of the week and we're learning about frog life cycles in the springtime, look at how many critters did each frog eat. We're going to finish the number stories, okay? So let's see. This big old frog, I think he might be called a bullfrog. I'm not sure, but look at the size of his mouth. Their eyes are on the top of their head, way up high. He ate one, two, three, four, five worms and one, two, three grasshoppers. How many did he eat all together? Wow! He ate a lot, didn't he? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. So let's write eight. Make an S, but do not wait. See my S? Those big kids in the afternoon class, they're practicing writing those big numbers. Eight. Wow. I thought he's eating like a pig, not a frog. That's a lot, isn't it? Let's see the blue. <gasps> Remember the blue poison frog? He's pretty, isn't he? Let's see. How many critters did he eat? There's four. One, two, three, four flies. One, two, three, four, five. Those look like ants. Are those red ants? Wow. A five group and four. We can count it different ways. We can think about it as five group and four group. That's not quite ten. Does anybody know what a five group and a four group? Nine, right. Who figured that out that way? Well, there's another way we can count too. And all of you can count this way. Let's just count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, my kids are getting so smart. A loop and a line. That's the way to make a nine. Nine? Wow, that little frog sure can eat. Let's see this cool green frog with the orange feet. I like him. He's cool colors. Orange eyes and orange feet. Three moths, one, two, three. And how many ants? One, two, three. Hey, they're the same. Oh, good job. I heard someone say equal. Yes, three moths and three ants. That's equal. That means the same. Equal. Wow, that's a big math word. See, we could go across like this and they'd be the same. Three and three. So let's count how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. A line. Right, thank you. A line and a loop. Six rolls a hoop. A line and a loop. Six. That frog ate six critters. Five, six. Hey, do you remember our little black bug in that song? He has six legs. So we did three and three. Made six. That's what this shows, three and three. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. I wonder what kind of frog that is. It's got black stripe on there like a tiger. Is there such thing as a tiger frog? Could be. Let's see how many blue bugs he ate. Blue critters, one, two, three, four, five, six. Blue. Do you suppose he has a big sticky tongue? And how many snails? One, two, three, four. 
Six and four. That is a lot. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. A line and then a zero is fun. That's the way to make ten with a one, ten, and zero on the end. Zero, the hero number. Can you look and see which number's the most? Which is the biggest number? Which frog ate the most critters? Which one ate more than all the rest? You're right, 10 is the most. That frog we thought looked like a tiger frog. He ate 10. 10 is more than nine. 10 is more than eight. And 10 is more than six. Stick out your tongue and slurp up a critter, ready? That's what frogs do. They're good at eating things and they lay eggs, don't they? Let's go down to our rug and look at a few things quick before we do our songs for today. Let's see all the things I have. Yesterday we did the little letters. Let's do the big letters because we don't want to forget that every letter has a partner. A big important letter for names and little letters. These are the most important capital letters for most important names. Like Ari starts with A, right? And Emiliana, Millie's name is Emiliana and that's A too. Ali Alligator, A, A. Alley alligator, a, a. Bubba bear, b, b. These are the big letters for Bubba bear, isn't it? B. Umber, umbrella bird, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now that's a really hard sound. Just remember, umbrella, ah, uh, ah, uh, up. Uh. a daisy umbrella. And the letter name is U. What letter name is it? U. Yes. Not me. Letter U. That's right. Katina Cat K. Katina Cat K. Show me. Show your mom and dad the sound. If you can make that signal. K. There's your whiskers. K. Letter C. Cash. It's letter C. Dee dee dear duh. Dee dee dear duh. D. Dad. Eh, eh. Ellie elephant. Eh. E. Francie fish. F. 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 Gordo gorilla. Guh. Peel your banana. Guh. Gordo gorilla. Gordo. Gorilla, G. G. Honey horse, H. Honey horse, H. H. Any inchworm, I. 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 Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Her name starts with this most important I. 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 Jerry Jellyfish, J, J, J. K O Kangaroo, K, K O Kangaroo, K, K, K. Lizzie Lizard, ooh, ooh, L. Missy Mouse, M, mm. Missy Mouse, M, mm. M, M. N. Nigel Night Owl, N. He puts on his night goggles to see at night. N. He's a night owl. Olive octopus, ah. O. P. Peewee penguin, P. P. Peewee penguin, P. Queenie quail, qua. Queenie quail, qua, Q, qua, quin, 
Quinn, you begin with that most important Q, don't you? Have you been tracing it and practicing writing? Q for Quinn. Robbie, rabbit, rat, Ryan, Reagan, R, R. That's an important letter. Can you write that letter? R, I know Reagan can. S, Sammy Snake, S, Sammy Snake, S, S, Stephanie, and T, Timmy Tiger, T, 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 Timothy Tiger, T, T. All right, good job. We don't want to forget our letters. Those are really important for learning to read. So we keep practicing those and playing games with those letters. If you have letter puzzles at home, it's awesome practice to name the letter as you're putting them in. And think of things that begin with those letters as you put them in the puzzle. Moms and dads, if you still have the puppets on the sticks, they're great things to review and put them in ABC order. Give them a word like monkey and see what puppet does monkey and find the M. Missy Mouse, monkey puppet. Those are really good practice and things we would be doing in school if we had them here. All right, let's see. I'm gonna just do a quick thing with these numbers. Can you help me with these numbers? Oh, wait a minute. I just wanted to put them out and see if you could help me put them. Oh my goodness. They're all mixed up and out of order. When we're counting, what number comes first? One, right? If you had one gummy bear in your hand, it starts with one when we count. Here's the one. What comes after one? Two. Here's two. One, two. Boys and girls, can you find it? Can you find it? what comes after two? Three. One, two, three. Four. We're looking for the four. You see how we put them in their order at that we count. One, two, three, and four. Where's fat old five? One, two, three, four. There it is. Five, six, a line and a loop, a line and a loop, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. Seven, eight. Oh, I know that's 10. That has to go on the end, doesn't it? Five, six, seven, eight. Make an S, but do not wait. Hey, Freddie, can you figure out that which one's eight? Even upside down, that looks like an eight, doesn't it? Eight, good one. Seven, eight, nine, and we know zero, the hero. Ten is on the end. Good job putting them together. Good job. If you have numbers, cards at home, big kids in the afternoon class, we sent those home. Morning class, you can make your own number cards with mom and dad's help and put them in order or play games and see if you can figure out what number's under, what number's hiding. Seven, five, six, seven. Yep, or you can mix them up and figure out what's wrong. That's a lot of fun to play with number cards. We'll keep talking. I'll show you some other ways to play cards with your mom and dad at home using a deck of cards. There's lots of fun ways to learn, and your moms and dads can play games and brothers and sisters and can help you. Do you remember this game we played yesterday? Let's play it just a little bit today before we go for the weekend, our pond game. Do you remember that we had more lily pads, didn't we? We had more lily pads than we had frogs. We had 10 frogs, didn't we? Five and five. And we have to roll the dice and give every frog needs a lily pad. So one frog, one lily pad. One frog, one lily pad. When we get 10 lily pads, 
the game will be over and we'll see who the winner's gonna be. Today I thought it would be fun if we have Mr. Vogt roll a dice. I'm gonna play against Mr. Vogt and we're gonna see who's gonna win. Okay? So I get to roll first because I'm the teacher. Okay? So I get to go first. I'm rolling. I'm not gonna throw it away over there. You know when you play a game with your friends, they have to just drop it right in front. Oh, one. Is that all I got? Okay, one. Your turn, Mr. Vogt. Roll it. Five. Okay, should I put them on for you? Could you please? One, two, three, four, five. Woo-hoo, okay, my turn. Oh, does every lily pad frog have a lily pad? Or lily pad have a frog? Oh, no. We have some there that need a lily pad, so we'll keep playing. Now, if I get a four, look, one, two, three, four. If I get a four, I win. Come on, four, 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 four. Oh, what number is that? It is not four. It's a three, isn't it? Round a tree, round a tree. See why it's so fun to know your numbers? There's lots of games to play with, and knowing your numbers helps play the game with your big kids with the big kids in your family. One, two, three. Okay, Mr. Vote. Oh no, if he gets a one, he wins. <gasps> if he gets a one, he wins. Look. Three, too bad. Wah, wah. <laughs> Mrs. Vote's turn. If I get a one, I win. <sighs> Come on, one, one. <gasps> oh. That's okay, Mr. Vote. Uh, next time you can go first. I'll let you go first, and I'm sure you'll win one of these times. I won today. Wow, look how every frog has a lily pad. 10 lily pads for 10 frogs. And remember, we have extra because there were more lily pads. That's good in case we ever lose any. So that was an awful fun game, and we'll be right back. I'll clean this up. Let's do some songs. It's the last day of the week. Do you think you can do that duck song now by yourself with the, with the bugs? Come back and see if you can sing it with me.